Possums are hardy beasts. Bash them, fry them, freeze them, or blast them. You can't hurt an atom easily. This is the Cupid Lab. The resilience of atoms explains why nearly everything permanent is made from them. You, your car, your hairstyle. But if you really want fine control, then atoms are no good. How do you move an atom? Or even pick up just one atom? Researchers trying to build quantum computers need this kind of control, and so they use ions. An ion is an atom that has lost an electron. With one electron missing, an ion is positively charged and so it will follow an electric field. Ions don't usually last long because they grab nearby electrons and become atoms again. But with the right fields, you can trap ions, line them up and keep them safe. And crucially, ions will talk to one another. Ions repel each other, so when one ion moves, the ion next door feels it. This allows for computation. In an ion trap quantum computer, a line of calcium ions are trapped together, suspended in space inside a cage of electric wires. A laser sets one ion oscillating, and the oscillation hops between ions when they get close to each other. The whole group of ions works as a quantum processor. The results of the computation are detected as light emitted by the ions. So far, calculations with eight ions have been done with 99.9% .9 accuracy, and bigger experiments are planned. Ions are a rare form of matter, but their electric properties make our nerves work and our sun burn. Now they may be the key to super-fast computers as well. I guess you could say that we're going to keep an eye on it. Really? Is that the best you can do? I understand if you're impressed by quantum computers. That was even worse. Yeah, it was. I... I think we're out of time. I'm Larissa. And I'm Larry. Thanks for watching.